Kendra here and welcome to my channel Beauty and Inspirations where our goal is to inspire you from the inside out. This video is going to be a small haul video. You know how I like to haul it in and bring it to you so that you can see it exclusively right here on Beauty and Inspirations. But before I get into my video, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate the love and the support, especially because I don't I'm not able to put videos up as often as I would like. So I really do appreciate those of you who are continuing to stay, stay subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. So like I said, this is a small haul video. I actually made this purchase a couple of weeks ago on Oatslook or Oatslook.com. You know, the famous website that offers um, name brand products and from all kinds of products, from housewares to trips to makeup, beauty products, clothing, shoes, accessories, you name it, this website has it and they bring you big names at discounted prices. And so I am a part of that website and when I saw a couple of weeks ago they were having a next sale, I jumped right on it. I didn't see a lot of things that I wanted to try, but I did see at least one set that they were offering that I wanted to try because they featured some products that I did not currently have in my collection from NYX. You all know NYX Cosmetics is a very famous cosmetic line. It is like a drugstore discount brand, um, lower end brand, uh, makeup brand, and they offer really good products, um, quality products at really good prices. And you can find NYX everywhere. If locally, you can find it at like your beauty supply stores or at some of your drug stores or discount stores. And then you can definitely find it online everywhere. Just do a quick search for NYX Cosmetics and you will find many different sites offering many different products at, at many different prices. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just getting off work and so I'm trying to get this film so that I can get it up for you tomorrow. Definitely go by my blog and check it out because I will have pictures so that you can see up close and in person. I'm going to try to do swatches because, like I said, I don't have a lot. There was only one set that I was interested in, and I can't remember the name of the doggone set. I'm so sorry, but it features, like, oranges. Orange, uh, an orange lip gloss palette, which is this right here. And it featured some coordinating single eyeshadows from NYX. And I have never used or I don't currently have any of the single eyeshadows. I have a palette. I have lip products. But I don't have any of the single shadows, so I was really interested in trying those out, giving those a whirl, and seeing how I like them. Now, my first impression of the whole set is that it was nicely packaged together, and shipping was really reasonable. I like the fact that they told me they gave me an estimated time as far as shipping is concerned, and I really didn't have any problems with my transaction at all. So I got my products last week, and I've been kind of playing around with them. I actually wore... Um, some of the eyeshadows on yesterday and I did such a ding dong thing I once I upload my pictures and once I upload my videos I deleted from my camera to save space because you just never know when an opportunity may come for you to take pictures or get in from, you know get pictures and or videos so I did and then I uploaded it to my computer at work and so that I would not invade on their space I decided to upload my pictures on um, a sharing website, a photo sharing website. And I don't know what I did wrong, but I deleted the photos from my um, from my hard drive at work. And the photos did not upload. So like almost all of my photos, those that weren't currently saved in that in that photo sharing on that photo sharing site and those that are not on my Facebook page or they're lost anyway, so I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful, so um, make sure you go by my blog spot. The information will be below so that you can see um, up close and personal or crisper, more detailed pictures. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's get started with the eyeshadows. So again, I got four coordinating eyeshadows to, you know, make up a look for oranges. I have really been rocking oranges and coral colors this summer, and I definitely will continue to wear them like into the fall and the winter time. I may be, I'm, you know, I may cut back during the winter, but definitely fall when the leaves are orange and brown. I'm going to incorporate these colors as well. But I got four of the, it came, the set came with the four, uh-oh, and I dropped one, came with the four single shadows and the lip gloss palette. So I got this 
eyeshadow color in yellow and it looks like this this is yellow which is a um a muted yellow it's kind of muted or kind of on the brighter side yellow yellow like a sunshine yellow um but let me swatch it for you i definitely was disappointed with this color because it is quite powdery or chalky and um the pigmentation of it is to be desired um i was looking for it to look like what was in the pan on my skin and I, it definitely is workable. I definitely will be able to maybe get this color on my lid or my highlight if I, um, you know, make sure that I get my primer and my base. But this is a swatch on my hand of yellow. I can't see that. And this is a swatch on my hand of yellow. There it is right there, which is very faint, which is why it would probably work best as a highlight color for me because it's quite faint and the pigmentation is not good. It's quite chalky, so I was a little bit disappointed with this color right here. But overall, in the pan, it's really pretty. It, looks, it, it does have some shimmer in it, so it's not matte at all, but um, it's really faint. So like I said, it would probably work for me best as a highlight color. Next up, I got... This color is Sunset Ray, which is a shimmery orange color, like a tangerine orange color. I was, again, a tad bit disappointed with this one as well because it is also a little bit powdery and more chalkier than I would like. And as far as the pigmentation, it is to be desired as well. Definitely going to have to work these with um, a primer and a base. So that the colors will pop, a little, these colors will pop a little bit more. So this is the swatch of it on my hand, and it's not going to show on my finger. And let me do this swatch on my hand. See, I'm having to with these. I'm having to swatch them twice, and uh, in order to even get them to show up like on my hand. Um, and like I said, it's chalky, so beware of fallout with this one. So that's sunset ray which is pretty and, and it, it's workable it, it also has like some shimmer in it I don't know the finishes but it definitely has some shimmer in it so there it is right there sunset ray and in the pan it's really pretty now it's workable but it's just a tad bit chalkier than I would like for it to be but it's workable it's workable the next color is one of my favorites out of the bunch and it is this color which is almond and this is how it looks. It is like a bronzy, um, pretty bronzy, orangey, bronzy color. Um, copper, I should say, more coppery, bronzy color. And it does have shimmer. And I love the finish on this. And I love the pigmentation. doesn't take many swipes at all. This is it on my finger, if you can see that. the light, My lighting sucks right now, excuse me. And this is a swatch of it on my hand right there see I love that look how it shines I love that color and I wore that yesterday on my lid and I'm telling you it popped like nobody's business so it's a really really pretty bronzy um, coppery color actually kind of reminds me a little bit of coppering although matte copper although I don't have it I've just seen swatches of it and I've, I've swatched it in person but I don't currently have it but this one again is almond and it is beautiful and last but certainly not the least of them, and one of the other um, colors that I liked out of this co this collection that held up pretty good as far as pigmentation and color is concerned is this pretty color, which is Jungle Fever. It is like a blue-greenish color. It's more so, if I can get it open, it's more so blue than green, but it definitely has blue and green undertones. Um, so it's really, really pretty. It's called Jungle Fever. And like I said, um, half of these I liked, the other half I, I wasn't too pleased about. Um, but this also has a really pretty finish, and it also is very pigmented when you first swatch it. There it is right there. And let me swatch it. Let me swatch it right here. There, that is. That's Jungle Fever. Look at there. Beautiful. So that is the eyeshadow um, 
These are the eyeshadows, the four single eyeshadows. And overall, they're beautiful colors. Um, you definitely have to work with um, the two in the middle, the yellow and the sunset ray a little bit more. But they're definitely beautiful. And all in all, they're good quality for the price. And I definitely will recommend you, especially for beginners and those of you who are trying to get into color, to check out the NYX single eyeshadows. I think they re retail for like $4.99 or no more than $5 or, or $6. It just depends on where you purchase them from. But they are definitely worth the value, and I definitely will be purchasing more. I think with them all, with all brands, with all products, there's some hits and some misses. And so, you know, two out of two isn't bad, half of them. And, and really, I mean, they're workable. Like I said, I can use that yellow on my highlight, and I can work with that sunset ray. I definitely can work with them, so that's no big deal. Now, this is the NYX Luscious Lip Gloss Palette in Sweet Oranges, and it contains an array of different orange colors, and it also comes with a brush and a mirror. I was pleasantly surprised with this palette because really I was not expecting to um, get the pigmentation from these glosses as I did. There it is. I don't want the brush to fall. Let me just grab that. So there's the colors, different oranges and coral colors. And it was really, really pretty. I was really expecting these to be really sheer and to really be less opaque than they look in the pan. But I was pleasantly surprised that they are. One of the things, one of the cons about this palette is they call it a lip gloss palette. And I would not necessarily classify it as such. I don't think that it's a lip gloss palette. I definitely had to put on a lip balm or a lip conditioner when I wore, when I wore them. I just tried them out. And definitely if I wanted a little bit more gloss or pop of gloss to it, I definitely have to add or top it with a coordinating gloss or just a clear gloss to get like that glossy effect that I'm used to when you say gloss. So um, that's the only con. Um, it's convenient, so you can throw it in your bag, your makeup bag or your purse and take it with you. It has the convenient mirror, little mirror here at the top, and the makeup, uh, the lip stick brush or the lip brush, which I, I have a retractable brush that I use. But for swatching purposes, I am going to use the one that's included. So let's go ahead and get started and swatch these. I like all of the colors except for one, which is um, a very glittery color that definitely has chunky glitter in it. And I'm not a fan of chunky glitter on my lips. And so um, while I will wear it, you know, here or there for special occasions for the most part, I will, it will not be something that I would wear often, and it will definitely, it's more sheerer than the other one, so it's definitely one that you can pop on top of the other ones, but I think you can definitely mix and match the colors to get pretty colors, so I'm going to start with this one right here, which is like um, uh, iridescent peachy color, like a corally peachy color, and let's see, where should I swatch it? Please forgive my swatching, you guys. Probably could do a little bit better. But let me just show you this one. And that's it right here. Get up a little bit close. That's it right there. Isn't that pretty? I was pleasantly surprised with the pigmentation. I definitely was um, like, whoa, that's nice. So that's that color. Let me find something to wipe this brush off with. <clears throat> I definitely like these. I was pleasantly surprised and I'm looking to even maybe purchase some more of these because they're nice. I think they retail for like $8 on the website, on the NYX website, but of course you can get them separately and I think I, I know I paid less than $20 for this kit I think it was like 12 or $13 that I paid for the complete set so the next color that I'm going to swatch is this orange um, reddish orange color right here let me swatch that for you and definitely it's going to take a few swipes or so but um, to get the desired consistency that you want on your lips but, you know, I, I wouldn't say one swipe will do you, but there that color is right there. That's really, really pretty, isn't it? And I'm telling you, I was just so pleasantly surprised with how opaque they were. I definitely was looking for them to be a lot less sheer than they came out. 
There that one is. I definitely was looking for them to be a lot more sheerer than they came out. So I was just, I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised that they were not. And to me, they're more like a lip color. It's like um, a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss. So they do have some glossiness to it, some shine to it. And they are um, somewhat moisturizing. I didn't really have any drying out of my lips by wearing these. And I didn't wear them long. I just played with them. Um, but um, you definitely want to put a conditioner or a lip balm underneath. And if you want a little bit more glossiness, you can definitely top it off with a, a clear lip gloss or a coordinating lip gloss would definitely work. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one right here, which is the other um, reddish orangey color. I'm going to wait and swatch that really glittery one last because it is, again, very glittery. And I don't want to mix the glitter into the other colors. So let's swatch that one right beside of the other reddish orange color. And while they look a little bit similar in the pan, they definitely on your lips or as I swatched them on my on my hand are definitely you can definitely tell a difference. The one that I'm swatching now is a little bit more coral, um, corally than the other one. The other one is a lot more red, has a lot more red undertones, and this one has like a peachy coral color. So that's it right there. There you go. Got you up close and, per and more personal, right? And the last color is like a true orange color. It um, It's kind of a corally orange color, but it doesn't have the iridescence that the first one does. And so this is it right here. Then I'm going to swatch this one right here. And again, they are really, really pretty colors. Like I said, you can definitely mix and match them to get a desired color or make a whole new color if you want. But this one, yeah, this one is more corally, pinky, corally, peachy, corally color. I like to say like a tangerine color. But it's, these are really, really nice, and I was pleasantly surprised. I like these actually more than I like the, the eyeshadows. So that's that one right there really pretty and you can tell the difference between the two this one is more like a true orange like a tangerine um, orange and the other one is more like a coral color and last but not least in the palette unless you are like me you really don't like glitter and, and I can go ahead and forewarn you it is very chunky glitter in this in this lip gloss right here so you would definitely be looking like a, a disco ball and uh, it's good for topping off the other colors with it. But and the and the shimmers, the shimmers and the uh, glistening of the the glitters are like green and gold, and so it's really really pretty. But it's just a tad bit too chunky for me to wear like often. So there that is. If you can see it, and if you can see some of the glittery, some of the green and some of the gold there. But that's the glittery one right there. And that's more sheer than the others. So these are the lip glosses. Like I said, I like them. I like this palette a lot. And this will get a lot of use out of me, especially as we are ending the summer and we are entering the fall. I will still use this pretty much. But I really do like the whole kit, the whole set. Like I said, I got it off of Oatlook.com or Holt Look or Holt look, however you pronounce it. It is a French term, and I'm not familiar with French terms. I took Spanish. But however you uh, pronounce it, it is what it is, dot com. And you can go to, um, to, their, to their website and look for other sales. I don't think they're really having a whole lot of makeup sales this week. But um, last week, I think they had like Stila. Um, don't quote me on that, but I know definitely every now and then you can get like Stila, you can get like Urban Decay, NYX, um, wonderful makeup products on there. You can get Todd, uh, what is his name, Michael Todd. So you can get um, lots of different makeup brands there. I think they had last week or it may be this week, they, they're featuring a lot of hair care products and like flat irons and curling irons and stuff like that. They even have teeth whitening products and I mean just wonderful products for yourself, for your family, for your home. So go and check that out. This is what I got. Eyeshadows right here and the lip gloss. And this set goes together. 
So you can coordinate this and make come up with lots of different looks with this uh, kit. So that concludes this haul video, you guys. Until the next time, you keep it beautiful and I'll keep inspiring. God bless. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you so desire and go over to the blog. Take care until the next post.